You want some free dubstep serum presets? You know I already got you. First link in the description. Have fun. Are you tired of traditional rhythm and how motherfucking simple it is? Do you find yourself enthralled by melodic dubstep as well as experimental sound design? Is it perhaps possible you chime into every new Rushdown release when it drops? Is your favorite card in a deck an ace? Aura? Then I may have the perfect genre of music for you, you sound design capable, boundary breaking, harmonic obsessed experimentalist. Crash it! So you may be asking yourself, Flow Motion, you sexy beast, what in the world is a color base? Hell, what's with the tagline melodic rhythm? Rhythm isn't melodic? Well, my friend, in the critical thinking industry, you might as well be regarded as out of business with that close-minded nonsensical sensory, as well as certain individuals in the electronic music community have transcended above simple genres of dubstep. Gone are the days of one bass being automated over and over and over and over and over. Now we're at a time where some people don't make rhythm that sounds like this. But more so rhythm that sounds like this. <laughs> And I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you know the very kind that you want to make, don't you? Now, here's the really crazy thing. According to my intense and time-consuming research, there doesn't yet exist an FL Studio tutorial for melodic rhythm, or color bass for that matter. With that being said, the best melodic rhythm has come from Ableton, with the utilization of resonators to make harmonic sound design, but no one has figured out a way to replicate this with FL until now courtesy of yours truly. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the actual production of music. So what now? Grab yourself a typical thumpy, punchy dubstep kick and then immediately afterwards make yourself feel at home with a nice and lovely rhythm clap. And then make sure to stack the kick and the clap, call it a clap or something, I don't know. Make sure to also get a ride hit so you end up with a drum loop that sounds a little something like this. Before the drop, make sure to add a juicy drum fill. And in the build-up, make sure to add some thick risers. I even layered some crowd noise with it, cause why the hell not? Make a kick pattern that gets progressively faster as you get closer to the drop. Do you guys see that volume automation right there? Yeah, cause this riser was ear rape. Make that side chain tighter than your old jeans, yes sir. And that's pretty much it for drums and effects. Let us move on to... <laughs> Are you sitting down? You better be, cause it's about to get a little wild. Make yourself a few high unison seesaw basses that sound a little something like this. <laughs> Duplicate the bass and route them to two FX channels. Route one to a bass processing bus, and route the other to what we're going to refer to as the color process. More on that later. In the bass processing bus, do as you usually would for processing a bass. I put an OTT, a Camel Crusher, an EQ, an instance of Decapitator, and uh, the glue, which just serves as a multiband compressor. With that bass we routed for processing properly processed, we can take a few steps back and make some super saw chords. <laughs> 
This can be done with relative ease in either Serum or Harmor. Take your pick and pick up the pace, pleb, and route that right to the color bus. This is where it gets fun. I used a plugin called Morph SC from a company whose name I'd die trying to pronounce. I used it to partly blend the sounds I was using together before adding an instance of Vocodex. Here I enabled all contours and routed the car to two, which blended the sounds together. I also had to mess around with these knobs right here and got a little bit of high pass going. I also routed some crowd noise and a pad to go along with the super saw and the bass. And then I processed the balls out of it. I'm talking Camel Crush. OTT, Decapitator, and Reverb. Delicious. When properly mixed, the duplicated process bass and vocoded blend of synths will enable you with that melodic rhythm yoink. <laughs> Directly after the creation of my melodic rhythm yoink, I went right into Harmer and created a variety of phaser basses. I've covered how to make them in my insane Extruler AU5 Harmer tutorial, so be sure to check that out after this video is over if you want to make some kick-ass basses that sound a little something like this. <laughs> I had a cute little arp with reverb just for interest. After that, I got right to work with filling out the rest of the mix, mainly by adding a mid bass layer. And never, ever, 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 ever forget the sub bass. Christ almighty, we're here yet again. I have to tell you why it's important to have a low octave sine wave in your songs. It's crazy that people still forget it, isn't it, my dear viewer? You won't be that person that forgets it, right? Can you promise that to me? Promise me. Help me sleep at night knowing that SoundCloud is in a better place with frequencies under 100 hertz. Present in every audio. Leave a comment now and tell me you won't ever forget the sub bass. Don't be an afterthought to unforbidden shame. Never forget the sub bass. So I added some bells because, you know, bells. And more pads too, yes sir. And make sure to get your intro ambience game up to par. Now hold on, you say. How did you get that effect? It's so powerful! Well, my friend, it wasn't the most complex task. I only stacked like 20 pads and mixed them down and then added a phasery, harmer reese with sub, and then reverb. Pretty sexy, I've gotta say. Make sure to have a melodic fill right before the drop hits. And then have a tremulator along with sidechain to modulate a rhythm shape to your heart's content. You're damn near close to done. But let's not forget about... I'm gonna be straight honest with you, my dear viewer, this genre is harder to mix than old brownie dough. Like, take your time leveling out, automating, and equalizing to remove shitty frequencies and boost, you know, the good ones. One of my favorite things to do is have an automation that removes the low pass before the drop so it hits harder and is pretty clean going right into the drop. And to make the buildup even more interesting, I brought in my color rhythm yoinks with the fruity love filter. I mastered it with Maximus when confident about the fact that I indeed had headroom. And that's pretty much how you color base in a nutshell. Directly after coming to a conclusion with your chun, get on label radar and send that to the folks at Rushdown. And hey, that could be your launch pad into the dubstep scene. Big labels like Disciple and Circus Records are already warming up to that melodic harmonic rhythm wave, and it won't be long before it fully takes over the world. So learn to make it now, and you'll just be swimming in all the Cash App and PayPal in all the dub plates that you sell with harmonic rhythm. And here is what it should sound like.
to fall apart I want you to fix my heart